Hello everybody and welcome back to Learning Resources YouTube channel. We are so happy you're here. School is back in full swing and if you are a parent, you're probably meeting with your child's teacher. You may be hearing different terms like fine motor skills, financial literacy, things of that nature. The term we're going to be going over today is fine motor skills. Fine motor skills deal with the smallest muscle in the body. This is your hands and specifically your fingers. Fine motor skills are very important to strengthen and work on so that your child is able to zip up their own jacket, hold a pencil, hold a crayon, write, tie their own shoelace eventually. Now we're going to be breaking down the three essential skills that your child needs to learn how to do in order to master fine motor skills. We'll also be sharing some toy recommendations that you can help you work on these skills too. Now the first skill that they need to work on is mastering the pincer grip. This is extremely important for them to be able to hold a pencil and hold a crayon. This skill specifically involves using the thumb and the index finger. This is important so that they are able to pick up small objects. Crayons and pencils are quite, quite small. So they need to be able to hold that tiny object precisely and be able to utilize it. We're gonna be showing you some toy options that are perfect to do this. We're gonna be starting with some of our younger children. This is Spike the Fine Motor Hedgehog and he's meant for 18 months plus. For those of you who are a little newer to learning resources and Spike, with this toy, you can take out the quills on him quills themselves have an area right here, there's an indentation, where your child has to put their thumb and their index finger in order to hold it. This is perfect for mastering the pincer grip and starting it at such a young age is gonna help them really perfect this. Next up, we have Pedro the Peacock. This one is also appropriate for 18 months and above. What I love about Pedro the Peacock is that all the quills are completely different from one another. They're different textures, different sizes. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Even on these, there is an area that indents in so that you can practice the pincer grip movement. Now we have two toys for our older kids. We have my personal favorite, the Fine Motor Feeding Friends. Now with the Fine Motor Feeding Friends, you get three different animal bulls. You get a cute little cat, a little bunny, and then of course a dog. The tweezers that it comes with gives your child a spot to place their thumb and their index finger and they just have to squeeze to use this like a normal tong. Pick up the item. Over here we're gonna pick up the fish because a cat eats a fish and we're gonna put it into the mouth and there you go. Next up is our Balancing Bees Fine Motor Sorting Set. It does come with activity cards that you can use to help guide your child through the game. But the other thing it comes with is another pair of tongs. The way this works is that you have to take one bee, you're trying to balance it. If you set it off balance, the entire thing can fall apart. See how it's starting to shake? Meaning that your child has to balance it now. And there we go, we're balancing it out. Now the next skill that they need to practice is building hand strength and also being able to control it. Of course, you wanna have strong hands so that you're able to grip a pencil, grip a crayon, and actually color with it and maneuver it. Two ways that you can encourage this is one, squeeze and play toys. You could do this in different ways. You could use stress balls, which let me show you one of our favorite ones. This is our little dumpling from our bubble tea break fidget set. This is perfect to helping your child just work on their hand strength because all they have to do is squeeze this. It also comes with a bunch of other little goodies. You got a little bubble tea, a fidget popper, and some activity cards to come along with that. Now the second way to encourage this skill is by practicing the pencil grasp, which we kind of went over in the previous skill set. Another two toys that I want to show you are really good for hand strength. These are our Snap and Learn dinos. They're really colorful and you're getting so many different dinos. What I love about this is the fact that you can snap them and this is involving the pulling and pushing mo movement and you have to push them back together. The second toy I wanna to talk about is perfect for three-year-olds and above. This is our Helping Hand Snack Friends. Now this set comes with so many different activities to really help with the hand strength. We have a little pouch right here that they have to squeeze. And you can also twist it too. We have one where you have to twist the jar open, which this is very essential to them learning how to actually open up jars on their own. This one you have to push, so it's involving a little bit more muscle, but it's gonna really help with that hand strength. This is our cereal bowl. Now look at this, there's a top on it. You get tongs again. So they're gonna have to pick up the cereal and push it into the bowl. Finally, the last thing that they need to work on is focusing on their coordination, especially their hand-eye coordination. Working on this is gonna help your child guide their hand movements based on what they're seeing. This is really important for them to be able to draw, for them to be able to write, and even color accurately. Now, some ways that they can encourage this is through threading games. One toy you can introduce to them is the lowercase lacing alphabets. We're gonna use a red one today. They have to get the letter through. Another way to encourage this 
is simply through dressing games. For example, they use clothing with large zippers or buttons and turn it into a game race to see who can button or zip the jacket faster. And that's all we have to share with you about fine motor skills. Developing fine motor skills is really important for your child to be able to color and draw accurately and be able to just be independent overall on their own. By practicing the techniques that we shared with you, it will really help strengthen that for your child. We hope that this video helped you. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. If there are any toys that you're considering purchasing, let us know which ones down below in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed so you can get more parenting videos like this. And make sure you also hit that bell so that you're notified whenever we post. And we hope to see you all soon. Bye!